I don't think people would necessarily expect it because women are sort of pit against each other, um, especially in our business that's so image oriented mm -hmm. and um, you know, you're know you known in a city and so if you have two women that are blonde anchors in a city, they would not be friends mm -hmm. and so it's an unlikely friendship but it's a sincere friendship mm -hmm. and I mean it's a great friendship but I do think sometimes people would be like, huh, really? That's interesting out to places people have said that yeah or even like in the newsroom if like we have a new employee employee or a newer employee and I say oh yeah Molly da, 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 and they're like oh are you and Molly friends yeah we're friends like in real life <laughs> yeah in real life <laughs> yeah I think it's just it's one of those things in our I guess in our business maybe it's more widespread but our perspective is our business that um, people don't necessarily expect it that we would be friendly, never mind as good of friends as we are. There's like competition, yeah. whether it's spoken or unspoken about. And if we're being really honest, we were both much more competitive when we first got to this market in terms of the boundaries between the stations, I yes. think. We would see each other out on stories all the time because at that point in our careers especially we were out pounding the pavement every day. We were covering court cases and we were at crime scenes and all those things and we would see each other and it was kind of like, hi, that was it. And I think we were both more aware and interested of like maintaining some sort of professional boundary. Why? I don't necessarily know. Because we were both dog on a bone reporters. Yeah. I mean, we are journalists. Yeah, it we was are. hard maybe when we were younger to figure out the, that you can still be really competent at your job and also be friends. Yes. We didn't have to be enemies. Mm -hmm. But also when life starts happening and you're not just living to work every day. So when you're younger and you come to a city just for the job, mm -hmm. I mean, WBTV was my entire life. It was the whole reason I was here. I love my job. I still love my job, but it was a different job back then. And my mentality about it was different. And then you get married and then you have kids and then we're both still here. And it's been 18 years and we're both at our stations that you start to realize life bubbles up more and the friendships can be valued more than prioritizing work. Mm -hmm. things I think that quickly connected us is that like <laughs> we had the same like we could talk at midnight on the phone all of my other friends are asleep, you know they're not going to answer the phone if I call them at midnight but Molly is because she's just wrapping up work um so that also like just was a natural mm -hmm. um scheduling like availability to each other all the time there's no one else that I can, I have a lot of great friends, great friends in life. None are working moms that understand two to midnight of two young kids in the same exact industry. So if we were competitors, shame on us. Mm -hmm. If we wouldn't let our friendship be a friendship, then mm -hmm. that's our fault. It's so much better. And husbands who are very similar. Yes. And get along well. Yes. And families that get along, kids that play together really well. And um, yeah, just clicked. Did you ask the question like 10 minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> because we just wind <laughs> us up. <laughs> and there we go.